and we're on. All right, welcome to the post show, guys. Glad to have you with us today. Um, Thank you. I think <laughs> I was talking, talking about that, man. Yeah. Uh, so I think we kind of like had this epiphany. If we kept talking about games, uh, we would eventually run out of material, and then it just wouldn't be fun. Uh, the thing of it is, Mike and I, we uh, I think we're gonna do this thing like we go to lunch afterwards, kind of like plan out what we want to do for the next show. Uh, and then I, we just I, did, I just had this realization. He's not he's not terribly ver- uh, varied on games. I the way I work, I'm just very I'm a person that doesn't I'll talk myself out of spending money on some like I'll be like, Oh, this looks interesting. Like I would like to play this game. Would I really get a lot out of it? Is it really worth ten dollars? And like like I'll go to lunch and spend money on food, but if it's like a, a five dollar purchase in a game, I'll be I'll think about it for like two months. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's just how I am, like I have a few games, I play them a lot, and I don't really... Do much else. Like, like I remember I gave you a copy of Limbo, mm-hmm. and you played that shit to death. Yeah, that's you, how I, gave I am. You, I gave you a copy of Fez on Steam, and you played that shit to death. I almost completed it. Oh, I'm so close. Because that was like a I free won't, game, and it was I like won't look at spoilers bucks. either. I'm not... I mean, for for Fez, I oh, haven't shit, looked at it. you're old school. I couldn't, I couldn't do Fez without spoilers. Cause but now I'm, I'm like permanently stuck. Some of the puzzles stuck. were like seriously in your face. Uh, but, so, we d- I just kind of like had this realization, like, look, we can just do things other than games. So we're going to make this like a personal thing. Uh, I guess, working title, I'm going to set this out right now. Uh, GDP Post Show, What We Know. Yeah, that's there nice. Go. There we go, it's simple, to the point. Uh, so... Yeah, Blizzard happened. Blizzard happened. Yeah. And uh, not the gaming company. Not the gaming company. Blizzard has been. Blizzard. <laughs> Blizzard happened, and then that's been happening. Uh, and I, uh, I took a couple of. I took one day off of work, mm-hmm. and then I like worked remotely for the next few days. That's nice that you could have that. So I, I, I stayed home, and what I, what I do when I stay home is I actually get to like spend time with my mother. No, I work. I work days. She works nights, so I don't get to see her all that often. So mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like a mixed blessing when I do. Uh, and she likes to take movies out from the library. And she got this suggestion from Newsday. Yeah, yeah, because they're free. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. That's that's a frugal thing to do. Yeah. Uh, and she got this uh, recommendation from Newsday to watch the movie Tusk. No, I haven't heard of it ever. <laughs> you may want to stay away from this one. Uh, <laughs> if, if if you've heard of Tusk, you know where I'm going with this. And I had, I got to watch this with my mother. It's about a beloved elephant, no? Okay, uh, <laughs> it's it's a Kevin Smith film. You okay. Know, you know how those are. Clerks, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that. Sure, sure. Um, he had this idea on his own podcast, and here's, here's where it comes in, for a guy to meet up with a strange person in the woods, and, no, no, not in the woods, uh, a cabin yeah, in the woods. I do that rather. all the time. Yeah, totally. Uh, a regular occurrence. And he, uh, he turns, he turns the guy into a walrus. <laughs> what? Wait, who turns who? The old, the, the old stranger? guy, the old guy turns the stranger into a walrus. The old guy Turn, that he like, met up with, the young guy that goes to the guy, the young guy that meets up he, with the person. The young guy turns the old guy. The, the young stranger. guy, the young guy turns into the walrus. Oh, the old. So the stranger turns him into a walrus. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry like, for that bit of confusion. Tr- turns him like through surgery. Oh god. So how the it's movie, not like a magical. So how uh, the movie pans out is. Spell. Movie pans out is that uh, Justin Long, America's sweetheart, oh my right God, there. That sounds horrible. Uh, has his own podcast. <laughs> I know like it's like such a ridiculous tie-in. Level, uh... No, yeah, it was. It was. Uh... He has his own podcast. He goes up to Canada to interview this guy that cut off his own leg by accident. Because what he has this podcast of uh, to people before. that do ridiculous things <laughs> on YouTube, and he gets to watch them. Uh, oh, and it's like it starts off. off as a comedy movie, and. Uh, He eventually meets up with this person. He gets, like, a tip uh, in a bathroom to, uh, if you want stories of adventure, come meet me here. A tip in a bathroom? I'm trying to block this out, but I gotta dredge it up. And uh, he brings it, he goes up to the guy, he starts getting all these stories, like, oh, wow, you met Ernest Hemingway. Oh, you you were there in D-Day. And then he was drugged. He wakes up, finds out that his leg was cut off. Finds out the guy's a lunatic, eventually gets knocked out again, and he wakes up, find a this turning... Is, this is real now. This is the real thing. This is the real thing. This is not in the movie. This is like real life. 
No, no, not real life. Definitely not real life. Oh, no, wait. this this was just a story on Kevin Smith's podcast oh, okay. that he turned into a movie. Oh, okay. But the guy wakes up and finds out that the guy stitched together a walrus suit <laughs> and, like, did all these weird surgeries to make him a walrus. They, like... Messed with his voice box, his his arms turned no, into flippers. Do they had ever, no legs. Does the guy ever say like? Do they ever explain why? This, yeah, because this is... uh, he was in a shipwreck and he was saved by a family of walruses. Oh my god! And he's like, oh my, Mister Tusk saved me. <laughs> and it, oh he has like this very god. weird. Obs- he's not right in the head, of course not. But he he just he has. I so... I lost it. So you watched this movie with your mother. Yeah. Well, we both lost it when we both saw Justin Long as the walrus. Because it was like, you saw the patches of skin sewn together, and it was ridiculous. It looked real. It looked bad. It looked very gruesome. It was like, I thought I liked dark humor. I thought I liked dark comedies. This was terrible. This was like trying to make Human Centipede a, uh, a vaudeville act. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good about like I'll watch. I won't look away or like ha- throw up or anything. But some things, man, are just pretty. We fast forwarded through those parts because it was just it was so gnarly. fucking gruesome to look at. And looking back, it wasn't like it was like okay, that was kind of a ridiculous thing I sat through. But and we heard through the credits the actual podcast where he uh, came up with the idea. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm thinking this is like the greatest joke in the world not, to him. Not something I would expect from Kevin Smith. You know? This is like the greatest joke in the world to him. He thought like, oh, this is going to go over ridiculously well. Uh, and I talked with someone afterwards, and he's like, yeah, he was a comic on, and he was surprised that people didn't like it. I'm like, can you fucking blame them? <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I felt like my my mind was like thoroughly getting penetrated right there. Ugh. Ugh. So that was that was my week. <laughs> I'm never gonna look at walruses the same way again. I don't know if I'll see that. I I might just like Google the, the yeah, wall. Google it. Take a look at, the look at the pictures, and you'll just see what I'm dude. thinking of right here. Uh, because it wasn't horrific. Well, it was horrific for the, like the first bit, and then once you got used to it, it was like, oh, <laughs> well, now this is just silly. I I would maybe like... think like I have a podcast now. This could conceivably happen to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, I so. To to sort of uh, relate to that, not really, but there's a movie that I recent. It's not. I don't know what you would call it. It was. It's like a ten episode series. Okay. It's animated. It was. It was made for Cartoon Network, and Cartoon Network has replayed it a few times. But if you want to see it, you can go to Cartoon Network's website, and they have it streaming for free. Yeah. S- still, as far as I know. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got, I think it's got uh, Elijah Wood. I think it has some well, famous people. Well, what is it? What it's, is it? It's called um, Over the Garden Wall. Over the Garden Wall. Why, do, why does that sound familiar to me? Uh, what was it about? It's, it's, the premise is that... I think I remember seeing promos for it, and I'm like, oh, this seems interesting. Yeah, Maybe it was like fan art? It, it's kind of, if you like um, the way... If you like things like uh, Spirited Away, oh, like Studio I'm, Ghibli, yeah, like yeah, movies that are kind of they're kind of fantastical. It's animated. It's it's sort of for kids, but kind of scary sometimes or weird. I, I I could kids could watch this, but it, it's very um fanta- It's like Little Nemo. It's like that kind of Aww. and and it's it's very musical. So there's a lot of songs throughout it. You know, I might check that out when I get home. The thing of it was, uh, I think maybe it was last week, maybe it was two weeks ago. Uh, I watched Ponyo. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, this is, this is so adorable. Like yeah. my heart is melting. Uh, and then I had to go to the hospital. Um, what? <laughs> cause you know, my heart was melting. <laughs> oh my God. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. But it's, it's, it kind of stuck with me ever since I saw, uh, and I wasn't a kid. I wasn't a kid when I saw this. I had to like see this as an adult mm-hmm. uh, earlier this earlier last year. Uh, I saw uh, my neighbor Totoro. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is. It's, I don't know why I didn't see this. I had to like get a recommendation ways, from a friend. Yeah, the flavor is similar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's like it's a movie. It's a movie where largely nothing happens, mm-hmm. but it's it's cute in a way, and yeah. it's one of those things like you got to like get it to revitalize like that that childish spirit in you. 
Yeah, I, I was. I I'm had, not going to recommend it for therapy or anything, but it's nice to watch. I had the flu, and I was just home, mid, not doing anything, man. And I was flipping around, and I looked at Cartoon Network, and I saw this show advertised. They were going to air, like, the full thing. They have a little marathon. And I said, hey, why not? I'll check it out. And, I, and at first I was like, ah, oh, this is kind of like a kid's thing, but... But I liked it. I was glad I watched it. So yeah, well, I think you gotta like treat yourself uh, to that every once in a while. I can't. I can't handle too many like. It's not where I live. It's I can't not like handle my... like dramatic things every time. You know yeah. what I mean? Like things that are just gonna like. Oh, I'm so invested in this story. I just want to see how it ends. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just want to like have a quick story now and then. You know? Like yeah, like it's almost like, like a storybook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. So there's it's that. Nice. Never saw Spirited Away, and I need to see that. Oh, so that's good. Yeah. I like that. Um, I'm gonna have like a kid afternoon. You know what's now. good Fuck. too? What What's interesting is um, well, now I gotta like if I ever have kids, now Porco I have to like Rosso. watch them. Yeah. The what now? Porco Rosso. Porco Rosso. What's yeah, that? it's uh. So Porco Rosso. Okay, so um, Porco Rosso. Yeah. Is, it's a movie about a a guy who's been cursed and turned into a, a anthropomorphic pig. Oh, Porco. So yeah. every everybody else. It, in the it basically means the like the red pig or something I think that in okay a, I can see in that. Italian so I can see that so he's a fighter pilot it's like You're it's starting like, to lose uh, me here he's, he, I can only he, handle he, so much he's like an ace pilot and it's around Italy and they're uh, pirate air pirates and it's it's made by Studio uh, Ghibli. Oh, for Christ's sake. But well, it's, now it's another thing I have to watch. Now I need to have kids. It's inter- so I can just immediately watch it's this with them. It's very, like, he's, like, uh, it's, like, it looks like a, it almost looks like Tailspin or something. Like, it's not, it's not, oh, you know, it's yeah, like a 90s kind of cartoon oh, yeah, feel. Tailspin. But then, at the same time, like, he's, like, a classy detective who's just, like, He's t- you know, he, he like he objectifies women. He's just like, and he's a pig while doing he's this. He's like, hey babe, like you know, is he yeah, a pig yeah. while doing this. Yeah. Oh god damn it. He's a pig. who's a pig. All right. <laughs> he's but, a pig. Who's a pig? All right. That's a that's a classy stereotype right there. Um. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's that's gonna be my afternoon set. Um. So I guess I don't know, should we do like a quick KOL yeah. update? Yeah. So for so, the for the listeners out there that we get exclusively from <laughs> that game. The big change I want to, I guess, that we all know about this week is that you can now buy. Yeah, I I never paid that too much attention the to that Zeppelin quest. ticket. You can you can buy the Zeppelin tickets. I never got priceless diamonds to begin with, so I was like, I don't I don't really care. Like I never did that quest to begin. with. Well, I I did once just to see how it was, and then just went back to pirates. Pretty you know what much. You know. But but now okay, you don't need pirates. They they changed pirates too, where you don't need pirates for. Um, to get to the Nemesis layer, yeah, they've changed a lot of things that are making something. They're making everything else obsolete. They're trying now. to balance those two quests, I think. So, but but to me, like it was like if you were gonna take on the risk, or if you were gonna gear yourself towards doing the Zeppelin for over the pirates, there was this off chance that you would get a priceless diamond, and that you could just. It was a rare chance, though. like. It really was, and now they made they made it five thousand meat, which I feel is like negligible. It's not like it's nothing. It's nothing. Unless you were point, really in a run where you can't like get it. At that point in the game, you definitely have five thousand meat to to throw away. So, you well, it like it gets taken from you every time, though, right? What do you mean? Like you get the uh, you you get the ticket, and if they check, don't you lose it? Oh, you mean if you fail on the Zeppelin, you have to get another ticket? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, the the more critical people who don't like the quest, they can see, oh, they can correct that, us. That could but be I true. thought that was the thing. <coughs> um, but I don't know where okay. people are coming from when they say when they say, "Oh, uh, if you do it right, then the uh, Zeppelin mm. is faster." I'm like, "No, it's not." I mean, I guess. Really? If, I don't know. You have to really master all that, like the. The um, what do you call it? You need to get the the drink, right? The Molotov. What is it? The flaming. What's his name? Yeah, the flaming. What's his name? That was you, it. You need to have sleaze damage, and you need to do that Leonard stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know how much it's to me. I don't think there's that many sources of sleaze damage available. Well, there's the to there's really the wings. Capitalize there's the that. pilot wings that you get during the quest. Right. There's the drink that gives you sleaze damage, and okay. I'm sure you could probably like throw in a sock dollar or two. That'll yeah. give you sixty. 
Yeah. That's an easy I sixty. I don't know. I don't know if it's that. No. Ghost of a necklace. You get sixty-eight. I'm. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There is that. There's yeah. a couple things. There's a couple things, but I guess I guess maybe what I'm thinking is like there are some sleaze damage perms you could get that maybe I think would probably push it are into there? like worth territory. I don't know. I think it's mostly yeah, passives. Yeah. There's um every class has a um, no. That's a that's a passive. That's, it, that's a passive resistance. Uh, the, what is it? It must be uh, Spring Break Peach. Maybe something gives like you that. A, gives you a sleaze damage skill. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still. I'm not keen on doing it still. Yeah. Uh, but I know that he's kind of making a few areas like that obsolete. Now pirates are completely optional now. Like there's nothing that you need it for. Uh, the south of the border, you don't need anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need the gum. Baron of Raffle may I mean for maybe the end, but otherwise not really. Nothing else. I um, mean, well, the to me, pirates are still gonna be the way to go because when items of the month come out, they're geared towards things like banishes. They're geared towards things, um I like the idea that you had the love handles. Like free runaways. Like that's cute. Oh yeah, yeah, for February. You I was keep it on for a couple of uh you keep it on for a couple of adventures you get to plus two fullness. Yeah, like Oh, that's like adorable. Love handles, they as the item of the month, they um they they make you more loving. <laughs> so it's basically negative ML, which people won't like. Yeah. But the the trade off is that if you wear them for long enough, you gain additional room for food. Because like they're love getting, handles, yeah. So you you get more fullness. No, I'd like that. I'd like that. Uh, I guess we're gonna see February second as he's as Jake is continuing yeah. the tradition of, hey, I'm never gonna release anything on time. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna put my prediction out and say that that February's item of the month is not gonna be worth it. Yeah. Well, I, he already he already <laughs> did the hotel key. I think that was already great. So. Uh, I think this one is gonna be very lackluster. Yeah, I th- I think it might be a familiar. I don't know. We'll have to but, see. Well, he already he already threw out the familiars of the month, mm-hmm. so familiars of the year. So that's not that's not gonna. Hmm. Has he been gearing away from familiars? That's the thing. Powerful ones. Have to, I think he's got to space out the powerful ones. You know, he, he can't does. have another reanimator come out. He can't have another right away. Well, now now it's going to be like uh, at the end of this year. Now we need another thing that can. Uh, because because it you know anime monsters it, it's like if you Wanderers. um if you make this T sixty nine two year limit yeah then now he's gonna get he now he's gonna do the not only, same shit different color it not only limits us yeah but it, it it kind of forces him to have to rehash the ideas re reposition yeah put out stuff that's gonna work again for yeah. those things well I don't I'd, know. I'd rather. I'd rather see something where he just kind of like gets rid of a mechanic. You know what I mean? Ah, that's horrible. It's horrible, <laughs> but at the same time, it keeps the it keeps people on their toes. Yeah. Like now, you got to plan out the rest of your year. Like, okay, well now we don't have wandering monsters anymore. We can use. What do we do now? Yeah. Now I actually have to go to the son of a beach quest. Oh great! It's not I, as I'm getting more. Uh, I I find that I summon the uh, what is that thing that came out? One of the one of the tomes, or Lib- not a tome, it's a Librum, and it gives you... The Confiscator one? Yeah, yeah, the Confiscator's Grimoire. Libra. Grimoire. Grimoire. Confiscator's yeah. Grimoire. Grimoire, okay, okay. I remember it. it, I, just, it I remember because the, I'm saying, like, we're due for a Librum. The, the cassette player, right? You yeah, and get, I use that. That gives you plus ML, I mean, plus monster attract, it, it attracts it more monsters. It does both, yeah, yeah, it does yeah. both. And in addition to that, I have... Uh, Musk, Musk, Musk and Tata. So... I don't have the song yet, but oh wow, um, do I don't do that many AT runs. But uh, some. but those two things together, it it made short work of the Lobster Frogman. Uh, I still had to do a couple mm-hmm. of things, but I got I one in. Spent I spent more s- turns than I should. One have, in, but. I had it reanimated, and then uh, I adventured again for another one, and then I just kind of had to burn turns in between. Then, mm-hmm. actually, uh, speaking of that, I just finished my run today. What was it? Uh, it was a Saucer Standard Hardcore. Okay. So I got that porcelain pepper shaker. Is that That's your awesome. first uh, standard That's run? That's the first one. Okay. First one. I I uh, just completed uh, my second standard run, 
I did a uh, softcore seal clubber. So I have a hardcore and a softcore seal clubber done. Oh yeah, I saw that. Now you're not gonna do seal clubber for a while. Yeah, which I've which I've been doing seal clubber through heavy rains. So I have like a million seal clubber perms that are. I wonder what people think if they've never heard this part of the podcast. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck are they talking yeah. about? And why are there seal clubbers now? You monsters. Yeah. I tried to explain the game to someone else. I'm like, well, there's disco bandits, seal clubbers. And they're like, seal clubbers? What the fuck? I'm like, no, but seals are evil. And so, uh. <laughs> it's just the euphemism for like a barbarian warrior type yeah. of from the north, you know? Well, that's why, I, typically... that's why I'm not into marketing. Like I can't, I, I say things as bluntly as possible, which brings, which brings us to uh, our main topic. That I think we agreed on wanting to do. Uh, yeah. When we were talking about things that mutually interest, interest us that we wanted to do for this segment, uh, we turned our thoughts onto another game, <laughs> and that was The Binding of Isaac. And I bluntly explain this to people as you cry <coughs> tears at your enemies and eventually kill mom and Satan. So, well, I mean, that's true. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It's, you kill your mother with your tears. You're, you're oh, that's terrible. But you also kill Satan later. What? You go you go room to room, and once you enter a room, the doors all lock, and there's some enemies in that room, and it and the way the room is set up and the types of enemies you encounter are kind of procedurally generated. So They're common you, fears. So you might you might end up seeing like uh, spiders, you might see flies, you might see skeletons. The game is pretty gross. Of course it's gross. There's they, there's poop. They, yeah, there's, there's poop, there's tears, There's a lot and of body fluids a lot in this of, game. Yeah, and uh, the main thing, though, that when I played the original one, which you have, and I have the remastered uh, Rebirth one. Right. Uh, why, uh, what's the... There was some... Uh, I have the Wrath... I have Wrath the, of the Lamb? Yeah, yeah, that's the expansion pack. Yeah, the I have first that. One. Uh, the thing of it is, the main thing that like made my soul kind of hurt <laughs> was every time you pick up uh, a power-up in this game... <laughs> Uh, it disfigures you in some yeah, way. Like, a lot of people's first or... one is, like, the coat hanger. You get the coat hanger, and you're like, oh my god, oh, oh well, now, now my shot speed's up, and oh my god, it's sticking through my head. <laughs> it's, it's basically like, you're you're this dude who... You're this little boy. You're already naked. We'll, we'll say this for <laughs> another... No, no, you can't see any, like, uh, can't explicit see things. You can't see his ass, because it's, like poorly drawn you can't see any like genitalia so it's not like a game for pedophiles or anything you're, it could be if you wanted to try it you're just, you're just basically you're welcome a, to do it a this little is dude though that that um and your face is perpetually crying you can't have contact with any enemies and they shoot projectiles and you fire tears tears which are like your bullets that yeah so if, so things that would increase the amount of tears you would cry are things that would hurt you in real life or things that would make you feel ashamed. So those things make you uh, more powerful, though. Yeah, exactly. More dangerous. It's, it's Higher DPS. It's one of those things, like, if it was happening to you, how depraved would you go to make yourself better? <laughs> There's always the great, uh, uh... True story, though. When this game came out, like, it actually made me, like, wary to go in my basement for a little while. <laughs> I might be easily rattled, you can call me that, but, like, I... I, I I don't want I don't want things like <sighs> coming out of there like oh god it's a spider with a human face, fuck. <laughs> See, I don't I don't I can't prepare myself for that. No, I'm like I would, eh, I, I find that it's, it's like Super Meat Boy in a way. It's like uh, it's not really as aren't all of his games like as that, though? challenging, but but it's still a challenge and there's still. Like not like there's certain achievements that are hard to get, like not taking any damage as you move through an entire level or like a series of levels that I just have not completed yet. And I, th for me, like I knew the expansion, I knew the new game was coming out. Mm -hmm. Then what? What is it? In the, uh, how would you describe it? It's it's a second game or. Uh, it's, it's... It's more, built upon it, right? It's built upon it. Uh, it's definitely, uh, better optimized. Because yeah. it's, it's all pixelated instead of, like, hand-drawn stuff. Right. So it runs better. Uh, but there's a lot more content. There's a lot... It's it, a bigger, it better, the, beefier game. Yeah, it plays the same, but you're gonna have a lot more fun with it. More upgrade, different monsters. Uh, more, there's more endings. More things to do. Uh, there's more, it's there's more, more end general. bosses. See, I would like to get it, but my just the way I am, 
I'm not gonna even when consider I bought it, it. Oh, when I bought it, I never looked back. I I never said, well, now I gotta beat. I, I never said, well, because for me, it's like I didn't. I'd have to beat the original. I, game I already like, bought no. this one game, and I didn't even like finish half the stuff in it. So I'm I I don't deserve to get the new one yet. That's how I am with myself. Like, I got it. There's so much that goes. There's so much like that could have been better with the first game that I'm like, okay, well, this is clearly a better one now. Yeah. So I feel better about that purchase. And <laughs> I think that that makes me wonder, like, finished products and then, like, rehashing it. Like, I saw a YouTube video of a guy that did a, a run where he happened to get very uh, lucky with all of his. It was, like, titled, like, the best Binding of Isaac run or something in, in the new game. Yeah. And it's just, he's ridiculously overpowered, like, from the start. He gets these, um, you know, the, you know when you, you're, like, the demon and you can charge up your... Yeah, the brimstone one. And it's just, like, bleh, you, like, you, vomit, you vomit lava. Blood. Yeah, blood. No, blood. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It's not even, like, anything cool. Well, the only cool thing is, like, you can replace your tears with an item that, like, shoots lasers instead. And it's like, okay, now, now I feel better. Yeah, yeah. And you'll play better, too. This guy, man, though, he, he had it crazy. I don't know. Anyway, it was crazy. Yeah. He, uh, well, it makes me it makes me think with this game uh, with Ed McMillan. Are you familiar with all of his other games? Super Meat Boy. Super Meat uh, Boy. Time Fuck. I don't know that one. Yeah. I used to I used to have this thing uh, about Ed McMillan where it was like, okay, well, we get it. You made Super Meat Boy. You don't have to keep injecting it into everything that you've made. Yeah, and other games reference it too a lot. Like they, they I throw a Super Meat Boy little reference in there. Yeah, like I uh I get it. I get that you made Super Meat Boy. I hate that it's like thrown in your face sometimes. Like we get it. All right. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> you can't keep it's it's like if uh it's like if Mario kept uh referencing the princesses in another castle. Like I would get fucking sick of it. Yeah. And I'm it's starting. A hard game, man. Too. I don't know. Yeah. I'm starting to reach that point with Ed McMillan stuff. If the next game that he makes, if he makes another Super Meat Boy reference, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I really do have to because it just gets so long in the tooth. It's like someone repeating the same joke over and over. It's his legacy. It's his legacy, <laughs> and I don't want it to be like this is the only thing that you're remembered for, and yeah. that's kind of what you're throwing. That's kind of the impression that you're making for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he's done good. I mean, the game is good. I would heartily recommend it to people that can get over the initial gross-out factor. Because mm -hmm. it, it might not be, like, the best motif to bring people in. But it's certainly I th one that's fun enough I think to somebody going. somebody that's skilled can go far. And you can learn to become skilled at the game. But I think also... And there's strat You know, there's things you'll learn to capitalize mm -hmm. on. But at the same time, you can just be not that great and still have fun. Because you'll get lucky sometimes with the the uh, power ups well, you'll find. Yeah, luck is a big thing about this game, but there's. I hate that he does this in some games. He did it with Super Meat Boy. Um, it's it's the impossible challenge. It really is, because the original game you could have gotten a hundred percent. You could have gotten all of the secrets, beaten every boss with every character, and now there's this one, that. <laughs> And now okay. there's this game that's like, he adds in something just to screw with people. And it's a character, spoiler alert, of course, but you probably already know it by now, called The Lost. Okay. And it's, The Lost is this, this ghost character. It's basically like his soul or something. No health, so the second you get hit with one point of damage, you're done. Yeah, and you can't, you can't achieve any health. You cannot gain any health, you can only lose health. Uh, but since you have no health, that means devil deals are free, so uh -huh. anything that would cause you to lose health for payment... That you can just get. Yeah, you can just get. <laughs> so that makes it that makes it a little bit better. Um, that's, and that's great. people on the subreddit... Someone will beat it, though. Yeah, well, No, they already have. People yeah. on the subreddit have basically said, if you don't get something that negates the first damage in the room, you're done. You can't do this challenge. And they will purposely reset the game... As many times as they can to make sure that's the first item that they get. Like, well, that just takes the fun out of the challenge. Yeah. If I were if I were Ed McMillan, I would probably just take out that item in the Lost and make it like, well, no, now this has to be a 100% <laughs> no run, no hit challenge. <laughs> he did the same thing with Super Meat Boy. Made like some of the levels like almost impossible to beat. Like, yeah, they're very hard. Yeah. I think you. I think it, it's. So what was it? The that... the guy's Christmas or something? 
a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people use a, a controller, like a Steam controller or some kind of plug, you know, controller that you can plug into your computer mm -hmm. just to get, which I don't have, so I'm working on a keyboard. And... I, I have some, uh, I have an off-brand Xbox controller and, like, an actual Xbox controller. I like, just use those. I've, I'm, I've never looked back. I never <laughs> want to play with a keyboard again if I don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll just get into a level in Super Meat Boy and I'll play it like three million times and get into this crazy rhythm where like if one if one thing if I don't land a jump just where I want it like I'll just kill myself and start over. Yeah. And... Well, at least that's your own that's your own uh, choice to do that. And Super Meat Boy is already a game that prepares you for it. If you get one hit, you're dead. Like, there's no surprise there. But this one, it's a very difficult game. And to just go through all the way to the end without getting hit is damn near impossible. Which mm -hmm. is why people want that pickup. It's tough. That negates it. And I think that's just such a bullshit do. You can uh, swing bullshit it move. In, the, in the early levels, you can definitely swing it, but later... That's like getting, it's getting every achievement for not getting hit all at once. I hate when I hate when people do that, especially to completionists. Like, ha ha. Well, now well, now you're never going to get that because you're not good enough. I'm like, oh fuck. Why would it, why even bother then? It's achievable though, and it's not. And it's something. That, it's it's achievable like, if you have more time to do it than I have. It's it's nice to have like hard achievements. I think because you know what sucks when the achievement is like you open your inventory, you you <laughs> success. You yeah, know? that that like come on. Well, that was parodied in that uh, flash game uh, Minecraft achievement unlocked. Is like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, Minecraft is definitely like that. But achievement like unlocked just made fun of it. <laughs> it was like, oh man, you got to the title screen. That's an achievement. Yeah, yeah. They made like he made a couple of games like that. And I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I remember playing the, uh, what is it, like a Flash game, right? Yeah, it was like, you're a little elephant, you're like, oh, you yeah. move left, you get an achievement. You learn how to jump, you that get an was, achievement. That was a very Kill yourself 50 game. times, there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, but... I I hate those no-hit challenges. I know people... It's something that you should unlock for yourself, and definitely, like, make that sort of challenge for yourself. Like, I know people play regular games doing that, and it's like, okay, well... I can understand. Oh, there's a there's a mod. Uh, no, there's a uh, official mode in Cave Story for that, where you can't. There's no there's no health ups, so you basically only have three health. But there's damage later on in the game where it's like you know, it's forty nine hit points gone. <laughs> like okay, well that's essentially a no hit challenge. I gave up midway. I'm like I can't do this. I don't have yeah. the patience. I've got to play that game. It's free, sure. right? Yeah, there's a there's a free version. Yeah, it's a, it started off as a freeware game. Same with Spelunky. I should send you that list of freeware games that uh, the 4chan board V made. Right. Just a list of for, uh, freeware games. Are they good? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Dwarf yeah. Fortress is on there. Like they know their shit. Mm -hmm. Well, video. As much as they don't talk about video games, video games are their thing. It's kind of it's the takeaway from that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Binding of Isaac. You had the original one. Do you recommend it? I like it. I spent a lot of time playing it. Um, it's, it's not something that you're going to get bored of in a day or something. And you can beat it and want to play it again. So. Mm. Uh, I recommend the Rebirth, uh, the, uh, the newer one over the old one. Trust me, it's going to go a lot easier on your system. There's more enemies. I mean, if, a lot if you more don't have to either with. one, I would definitely say get the new one. Yeah, get yeah. the new one. Uh, get the old one only if it's like really on sale and you just want to like have a good laugh. Yeah. Because the art is definitely better. I'm not a big fan of the pixelated style. I almost feel like that's cheating sometimes. Yeah. But I know pixel art is hard. But the hand-drawn stuff, if you have it, why the hell not? Mm-hmm. <sighs> So yeah, uh, go out and play it. Uh, next week, we'll talk about something else. Sure. <laughs> uh, until then, I'm Dean. I'm Michael. And this has been another post-show madness. This is Things We Know. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, see you next week, everybody. All right, later.